Welcome back to Parenting Roadmaps, a video series providing parents with short weekly videos focused on child development. Here we go with episode number seven of the fall series 2021. In an earlier episode a few months ago, I talked about playgrounds and spent probably about a minute talking about the benefits of swinging. Today, I'd like to dig a little bit deeper and hopefully this will also build on last week's episode on the vestibular system. We know swings go up and swings go down. Even with all the ups and downs, you can rest assured that swings will be a constant support to your child's development and growth. In keeping with my commitment to provide short videos, I'm going to focus on just one type of swing, what I call the playground swing, like the kind you see in these photos. And to start the discussion on swings, let's take a look at the most obvious benefit to your child, their physical development. Let's move from in to out as we look at physical development. So inward, we are working on core strength. Those core muscles need to be engaged and alert as you not only sit in the swing, but continue to balance on the seat as you move back and forth. Moving outward, next comes those legs, pumping away as the swing goes back and forth. And extending to the ends, the strength of the fingers and hands to hold tight to the swing's chain, working on grip strength by holding tight. Swings help strengthen so many muscles all over the body, from the core to gross motor and then fine motor strength. It comes as no surprise that swinging helps children develop coordinated movement. As I just described, there are multiple muscle groups all being fired up at one time when swinging. When they are all working together and swinging successfully, that is definitely coordinated movement. Now, that being said, you will most likely spend hours pushing your child on the swing until they have mastered swinging on their own. Please, please, please don't think that those hours are wasted hours. Your child is still learning how to hold their body upright as the swing moves back and forth, and they will continue to work on strengthening their grip while holding tight. In addition, swinging helps support body awareness, which is also related to physical development and ties into the episode from last week on the vestibular system. Remember, one of the main jobs of the vestibular system is to help us understand where we are in space. With the back and forth of the swing, a child's vestibular system is getting lots of practice, having the brain process where it is in space and adjusting to how gravity is pulling on the body. Outside of the physical involvement, the swing can also play a part in brain development. We mentioned already the vestibular system, which involves the brain. In addition, the swing can be a calming activity. Just like a hammock can be a relaxing activity, a playground swing can provide a sense of calm for a child who's overstimulated or anxious. Let's take a look at how swings can also benefit a child socially. Yes, a traditional playground swing just involves one person. However, there are often not enough swings for everyone on a playground and a child will need to ask for a turn and practice waiting for their turn. Secondly, preschoolers get it that their friends need a push on the swing, right? Unless they've already mastered the art of swinging, they're going to be looking for a friend to give them a push. Nothing beats a little shared teamwork. Bottom line, swings are really unique for a child's development. It's hard to find anything similar to a swing on the playground. Playgrounds are amazing places for our kids. They can offer such a wonderful variety of options for our kids to get active play. And it would be pretty hard to find a playground that doesn't have at least one swing. The swing literally has its ups and downs, but hopefully after watching this episode, you'll understand that riding these ups and downs really is a great activity for your kid. Through all these ups and downs, can you now see how far reaching the benefits of swings can be for a preschool child? Next week, we are going to shift back to keeping our feet on the ground and check out the gift of the game, Simon Says. So have a great week to all of you, and as always, remember to enjoy the journey.